here with uh, Carmen, the uh, COO of uh, Wise Hospital, and also Vince, the uh, uh, or say impromptu uh, community organizer here. Um, so, briefly, uh, Carmen, just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what will these donation uh, going to be used for? Absolutely. And yeah. So, I'm uh, my name is Carmen Froman. I'm the chief operating officer here at Wise Hospital. Um, I've been here for about five years, and um, currently, as everybody knows, there is definitely a shortage of masks and gloves and proper PPE for healthcare individuals. So this donation that you all brought today is a couldn't come at a better time. Um, we are currently, we have enough here at Weiss, but we're currently in the process of really trying to limit how much we're even giving to our staff or having them use it multiple times just because of the shortage. So the donation that you guys made today makes an incredible impact. Um, I would suggest if anybody else can do it, please do it. Um, I know people in the community do want to protect yourselves, but here at the hospital, I mean, we can't really curb this epidemic um, if we don't have the proper PPE to do it and to take care of the patients. So this means the world to us. So thank you so very much. And Carmen, if uh, there are uh, the local uh, people in the local area want to donate directly to the hospital, how would they do that? They can actually they can stop by like you all did, um, or they can they can just call the Weiss number and ask for me again my name is Carmen Froman and that will put you in direct contact with me and we can set up time to have you drop make a donation and drop it off and what are the things that people can donate right now really anything from gloves to masks um, is really what we need that would probably be the the biggest need um, we're also looking for gowns but yeah masks and gloves are probably the most important thing okay so, uh, yeah so um, so as you can see that uh, we are in dire need of uh, PPE supply and luckily that um, um, many of us in our community, Vietnamese community in, in general, and particularly in the nail industry, mm -hmm. uh, we are stepping up uh, big time to help out uh, with the supplies. So thank you to you all, um, not just WISE, but we have delivered to Swedish multiple times, and Torex, uh, and then WISE, and we're hoping to continue our work, uh, and please keep donating, uh, don't hoard those uh, supplies, gloves or masks. Uh, we even have handmade masks mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there's a team doing. So uh, so I just want um, to thank you and, and all the hospitals uh, workers. Uh, we realize that it's, um, it's more important that we support you guys and, and not letting you guys fail. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is our uh, little token from our Vietnamese uh, slash nail community uh, to, to help the push in the emergency time until the, yeah. the main supply comes. Thank you. Yeah. And so, um, so hopefully we, we come back and we get more. And um, we do have a, a few, and maybe a few hundreds of N95 masks, yeah. which is very valuable. Very, very valuable, yeah. Uh, so uh, please take care of them. We and, will, uh, yeah. we will. We are, we're, we are so. only limiting you know, who really needs to wear those. Um, but yeah, we will take, this is huge, and you know, don't thank me, thank you guys yeah. are like guardian angels. Yeah, yeah. I, this uh, is huge. We are only delivering the works, but the donations mainly come from our people, which is in the nail industries and uh, the volunteers. So you may want to thank them. Not thank that. you from <laughs> the bottom of my heart. No, thank you right. from the bottom of and, my uh, heart. And for... Is, this is, I mean, at a time I think when everything is so crazy to have individuals like you and people in your community that know and understand the need yeah. um, is, is absolutely priceless and precious and I can never thank you enough. Yeah. Thank and questions, you. Um, uh, as you know, we, we realize that uh, Joanne's uh, fabric is closing. They're not, they used to accept our man-made hand -made, uh, math like mm -hmm. this, but now they're closing. Does your hospital have taken in this and have an inspection or go through kind of process and, and use yeah, it? Yeah, we're, we'll pretty much at this point kind of take anything and then we're kind of trying to, you know, make a process of obviously we would go through the surgical masks first and then use them as we go down. But, you know, hopefully this will start to kind of change as everyone's kind of keeping the distance and staying inside. But we really are going to take everything because until this is all said and done, I think any anything, any donation is helpful. Okay, because uh, I want to relay this information to the teams around here that are doing the, uh, the handmade, the yeah, tailors, absolutely. the cutting teams and all that. That would be wonderful. Teams. That would be um, wonderful. And then last but not least, uh, please, please say it and uh, we'll keep in touch. Absolutely, and, I gave uh, you my card, so yeah. So once again, this is a little token from our Vietnamese uh, slash nail uh, community. Perfect. Thank uh, you so very much. It's time to step up for America, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. Thank you. So Thank